Hi, IT lovers. Welcome to my Trilingual ECDL e-learning tutorials. New today, Advanced Database, number one, part one in 2023. Let's practice with uh, the demo test from uh, easyforme.at in German. And as usual, I give you the English and French translation of the questions. This sample test contains uh, 15 questions and uh, we are going to start with the question number one, the number two and the number three. Please keep in mind that uh, you need basis and intermediate level uh, first, then you will be able to understand uh, level advanced better. But uh, for those uh, who are watching, uh, who might have no idea about the topic uh, <laughs> access advanced let me give you a short definition uh, access or database is used to classify and uh, better manage better organize uh, structured information and please remember also that i have so many tutorials uh, uh, you know about uh, topic it so uh, you have all the levels you can uh, learn with me but right now myself i'm uh, i'm already on the web design topic so uh, for me it's uh, just refreshing my memory to give you some uh, tutorials about these applications these microsoft applications which are i know pretty well right now me too i watch uh, other people's uh, tutorials of course i love tutorials i've been doing that for years now <laughs> Well, I hope you are enjoying my classes. Now, uh, come on, let's do this. <laughs> All right, here are the instructions. As you can see here, uh, demo test uh, ACDL Advanced uh, Daten Bank. And we are going to start right now. Uh, question number one, I read it in uh, German and then I give you the English and then the French translation, as I told you before. Frage Nummer 1. Kreuzen Sie bei den folgenden Fragen die richtige Antwort an. A. Wozu dient Enterprise Resource Planning? Zur Bereitstellung dynamischer Websites? Um Kapital, Betriebsmittel oder Personal möglichst effizient einzusetzen? Zur Datensicherung und zum Datenschutz? Oder um Kundenbeziehungsprozesse systematisch zu gestalten. Und dann B. Analyse und Entwurf sind im Lebenszyklus einer Datenbank am Beginn, am Ende nicht enthalten oder Teil der Datenpflege. Now I give you the English translation of the question. Question number one. Tick the correct answer for the following question a what does enterprise uh, resource planning mean does it mean one to provide dynamic websites two to uh, use capital resources or personnel as efficiently as possible and then the third one is for data backup and data protection. And the last one is to design or customize a relationship uh, process systematically. And then the question B, analysis and design are part of a database cycle at the beginning, at the end, not included or part of data maintenance okay now let me give you first the french translation of the question then we can answer them question b donc un b l'analyse et la conception font partie du cycle de vie euh, d'une base de données au début à la fin non inclus ou bien ça fait partie de la maintenance des données on va répondre à ça maintenant. Well, for the question 1A, 
my answer is uh, the last choice. Uh, let me read it again for you. Um Kundenbeziehungsprozesse systematisch zu gestalten, meaning uh, to design or customize a relationship process systematically. En français, donc, euh, mon choix, ce sera euh, la dernière proposition qui était euh, configurer euh, ou ajuster systématiquement les processus de relation. Ça, c'était donc pour la question 1A. Ok, now, my uh, answer for the same question number one, but B, uh, is uh, in German, Teil der Datenpflege. Je vais de rôle, analyse und entwurf sind im Lebenszyklus einer Datenbank Teil der Datenpflege. <laughs> okay. And in English, uh, my answer is uh, the last choice, part of data maintenance. Et en français, donc, euh, mon choix, euh, ce sera euh, la quatrième option. Euh, ça fait partie de la maintenance des données. Donc, ça, c'est ma réponse pour la question 1B. All right, we started our demo test with uh, theory. <laughs> Now we are going to uh, move on with some practice with the question number two. Frage Nummer 2. Öffnen Sie die Datenbank klangforum.accdb. Erstellen Sie in der Tabelle Titel für das Feld Typ ein Nachschlagefeld, das sämtliche Daten aus der Tabelle Tonträger Typ entnimmt. Speichern und schließen Sie die Tabelle Titel. Okay, now let me give the translation of question number two in English. Open the file called uh, Klangforum, extension uh, .accdb uh, for database. And in the table called Title, for the type field, create a lookup field that takes all the data from the table called Tone Trigger Tip. And then save and close uh, the table Title. Maintenant, la traduction française de la question numéro 2. Ouvrez euh, la base de données euh, nommée Clank Forum, hein, extension euh, ACZDB, dans la table nommée euh, Title. Pour le champ Type, créez un champ de recherche qui reprend toutes les données de la table nommée euh, Tone Trigger Type. Enregistrez et fermez la table Titel. All right, now that we know what to do in three languages, let's go and do it. All right, this is our demo test folder. These are the instructions. And here we have the file called Clank Forum. So we are going to open it. This is how it looks like. I hope you can see, right? So we are going to first go ahead and take a look at this uh, field called uh, type. <laughs> this is the one that we highlighted for you without uh, any modification right now. Uh, it's a huge long list. You can see the number of uh, uh, the records. So this is uh, here the first one. Let's go to the last one, no, not the next. We want to go to the last record and take a look at it. And as you can see, we have a lot of CD, CD, MC. Well, we have like very few uh, Uh, MC, but it's a huge long list, 3,554 records, and um, we have to modify this column right here. So in order to do that, we have to uh, switch the view, and we go here uh, by design view. And here we choose, of course, uh, the field type, and this is where they want us to, to go get this uh, lookup values. So, uh, right now we are on the tab general and we don't see anything about lookup on the tab general. We have to go to tab lookup here. And here, as you see, we have like apparently nothing in here except a display or control text box, but we don't want a, a text box. We want another kind of box. Of course, we could take the list box, but we're going to take the combo box. Now, for the 
resource type we don't touch nothing we go by resource and we go get this one called the uh, tone trigger tip this is the table we need and in here as we can see here we have to do some little more uh, limit to list here it's no we're gonna change it and get a yes in inside here we get a yes and allow multiple values we say we keep it with no and allow value list also no and then by uh, show only uh, row source we're gonna get a yes like so and now we are good we are good all we have to do now is to uh, go back to the data sheet view and here you must first save the table yes and now we go back to this type field and see what happens this is what you know what was here but now if you go inside you see you have another list and this is on trigger list so we can go ahead and make some changes like we were tired to see on the uh, cd cd so now we we can you know get something else you see okay oh yes i wanted to add also that uh, you cannot just uh, put anything else in there like if i try to add anything you see it doesn't work you you cannot just put any other value now you see the text you entered isn't uh, an item in the list so we have to choose only what is in here okay i hope you get it <laughs> and then as i said we have to save and close uh, the table uh, title so i'll just go ahead and close it mm -hmm. We are good with question number two. Let's go back to our instructions. Frage Nummer drei A. Erstellen Sie eine 1 N Beziehung mit referenzieller Integrität zwischen den Tabellen Ton, Träger, Typ und Titel. B. Richten Sie die Beziehung so ein, dass bei einer Änderung in der Tabelle Ton, Träger, Typ Diese Änderung automatisch auch in der Tabelle Titel erfolgt. Now the English version of uh, the last question of the day. 3a. Create a 1n relationship with referential integrity between tone trigger type and title tables. And then 3b. Set up the relationship so that if uh, there is any change in uh, tone trigger tip table this change automatically happens also in the title table en français euh, ça donne euh, question numéro 3 a créer une relation 1 n avec euh, intégrité référentielle entre les tables tone trigger type et title et ensuite 3 b configurer la relation de sorte que euh, De sorte qu'en cas de modification de la table ton trigger type, cette modification se produise automatiquement dans la table title. We know what to do in three languages. Let's go and perform the last question of the day. We have to uh, create a relationship right now. So in order to do that, we have to go to the right uh, tab, which is called database tools. And here we have, uh, you know, on the group uh, relationships, we have uh, this icon or this symbol right here, relationship. This is what we want. So we click in here and we already have a lot of uh, relationships. As you can see, they were here by default, you know, this is in the exercise. And now we have to create one between uh, the table called uh, title and the one called uh, tone trigger tip. The thing is that, there is no tone trigger tip in here. It is still here on the left pane. So we have to go and get it. So I just select it and we can just drag. We drag it here. And as you see, it has created a duplicate. 
we go and choose a first here and then we choose here inside create and we start uh, let's start with a tone trigger tip table i think it's yes it's here and because it's a one in a bit soon we want so we're going to choose trip here and by table title we chose the same thing here trip where is trip trip here we are now we have uh, these two and we have to enforce the referential integrity and we are going to check already here the cascade update related fields and as you can see here it's return relationship type one to many this is exactly what we want one to many means one n just as uh, we saw it in the question so now we can create and now it's created this is our first relationship between these two tables all right we are good so once we are good with the relationship we can just go ahead and close and of course it's going to ask you if you want to save you say yes and we can also collapse the tables right now that's enough for today of course you always go ahead and make sure that you save your work me i already uh, saved it uh, before and now i'm going to save it again with what we just did and then we're good yes i want to save it again all right thank you for watching and uh, the rest is coming next if god's willing until then may the lord bless you and keep you <laughs> amen bye bye